welcome to my smart side. I did forget about my glasses on my Zero Divided by Zero video, but uh, that's okay. Sometimes I do forget things. Anyway, this video is about music. More specifically, bumper cars. An act by Patrick Valham. Anyway, there are some strange sounds that I have here. I'll go through each of these at one time, one at a time, with the melody. Uh, this is just a pure recording, I don't have any effects. And it sounds like this. Uh, but melody one here, it sounds like this. It sounds kind of electronic from this degrader effect. It can make it sound like 8 bit or electronic and stuff. The original recording sounds like this with the degrader effect. I can make it sound like this. Okay. Next, melody two. While editing, I did color code these for the this melody. The orange, well, it says orange, is F and G for green or green for G, like G heart green, and I have red for A. This is A the vowel. For apple shell says A and apples are red. This black here is B flat because that's a black key on a piano. And I have C, but C like the ocean. No. This is blue. That just leaves orange for F. You hear a slight echo. And that's called reverb. Without reverb, it sounds like that. With reverb. It gets a nice echo effect. This is how I said it here. Next, I have the hi hat. Just a pure recording. Uh, anyway, I timed it to play. Or to go like about halfway between one of this and one of that. And I don't have to like drag it specifically in there, I can just keep it here and I made it halfway. And I have the drums here. Another pure recording. I made a violent bass drum sound like like you know that that like loud suggestion. Same thing with the snare, like 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 you know that hard. And I have the cool rise and fall effect here. Tremolo effect to make it the sound you know, like switch back and forth between the left side and the right side. And to make the falling effect here, I just took this recording and reversed it. Without the tremolo effect, it's absolute sound. Like, 
here. Just some like sort of suspenseful. Now we're getting into the distorted stuff. Very strange sound. Have a distorted bass. I, I just added a compressor effect to uh, make it more audible equalizer to get the pitches, the tremolo, have it going back and forth very fast, and the distortion to make it that distorted sound. And I have ugly distortion here. Sound like that. I have the distortion effect. This seems to be the the ugliest distorted sound that I have. The gain up all the way and the volume up all the way. Wait a minute, I think I forgot to show you the pure recording for the distorted bass. Result. And give the effect. Did I put into the microphone that I distorted here? I bypass the distortion effect and it's not like. Like, the microphone is here and it's over like. So it's something like that. With the web filter, make the web filter make it sound like a web web or something. And how I said that here. Make it sound like that. And I increase the speed and the depth up all the way. And did some other stuff. And uh, that's it. If you learned something new, click that like button. And if you'd like to learn more things, click the subscribe button. And you'll learn more things from me next time. Boy, that pack of him sure has a mess of a song. Uh, he has a, a mess of, of an acapella tune or an act. Maybe he should clean up his act. <laughs> clean up his mess of an act. <laughs> One time using this, and I was hearing that dis the ugly distortion with this, the word dubstep came in my mind. Sort of be classified as an acapella dubstep. 
But the song I got that the inspiration from Thank you again for watching and our